this opportunity to see my progress. Let's see if you still Okay, so I'm used time. this is just a, a battle against the CPU, but I've gotten a handle a bit on the controls a little more. But oh, I'm still trying to get used to these controls. just what people are saying right now about the game is that the CPU is very difficult to fight they seemingly block everything and I'm kind of a I'm kind of I kind of agree with it they do say that the CPU gets a lot more ridiculous in the story and I just want to be able to enjoy the game a bit more against other players before I jump into online and oh. Every, every single character here, Hall, fights a little bit different. So, as it stands, I'm more used to playing Adult Gohan because he's who you use in training battles, as well as learning how to actually play the game itself. So, I'm already. You see, like here, I, I keep forgetting how to do these follow up attacks. Oh, Super Saiyan God? Yeah. It's still very thematic and all that. I just, I just wish I could enjoy it a little bit more because of these controls. Let's see if I can do it. I think I did that right. Still landed. Yeah, they, they also seem to. They seem to block their key, these your key blasts almost automatically, and it's it just at sometimes it feels like they they're not following the rules of the game as far as controls go. I think what I should do, I do want to try one more battle before I actually go into multiplayer, because I just want the the video or at least the, well obviously the video but i also want the fight to be enjoyable as well you can still see i have a lot of these characters unlocked i really like to get around to these but i think for this i have to uh i think i have to play the episode battles that's what they're calling the story mode is more episode battles so i think i have to yes. keep going and cuss in episode battles but it's kind of weird how they how they do it. There is no GT Saga as far as uh, the episode battles go. Kakarot, I will defeat you this day. Oh, I won't be losing this one, Vegeta. Tons of dialogue in here too. I'm looking forward to see. Like the uh, the one issue I have are the Z dashes. Let's see if I can do it. So that's the Z dash, but to do that, you have to do a dragon dash, and then I guess it's not that difficult now that I'm starting to understand the controls a little more. It's just, there's so much of these, uh, they're calling them percep uh, perception blocks. Uh, perception, I believe, is what they call it, is what they call it, the blocking mechanics, and it's it gets really difficult to try and do a full combo because of these constant... Well, that's what they're calling it, is perception, but apparently it's even worse for when you're fighting players who are using androids. And I guess there's like a kind of a, a loophole mechanic that the android players can use to easily get their key up before they're actually able to charge it. Because... I don't think I did that right.
It's just so good. Oh, the fight's already okay. The fight's already over. Okay, so I'm. I'm still I'm still struggling a lot with how to. That okay with you? With how to do these full combos because the dragon dash, again from Xenoverse two, it's so much easier to do a smash attack when you're doing a regular combo followed up with a smash attack, and then you can easily go into a dragon dash. With in here in Tenkai uh, Tenkaichi in Sparking Zero. Well, let's see what else they say. Kakarot, oh. I will defeat you this day. Okay, so it's the same dialogues. But yeah, it's easier to do Dragon Dash and Z Assist as well as a Z Dash in uh, Xenoverse 2 as it is here in Tenkaichi. You have to do a, a separate follow-up input. And everything and anything requires key, so you really have to really manage your key this time around. I think the key management is a little bit harder to do in in Sparking Zero than it was in previous Tenkaichi games. Let's see, also the the way you transform it's also a, a little weird. Playing this game, I, I've been using an Xbox One controller for years. The same controller I'm using now for years, but because of how strange these uh, controls are, it feels like I'm brand new to holding an Xbox controller. That's what this game feels like to me. Kind of difficult to talk while trying to. You see, they, it's hard to just do a full combo against a CPU. I'm, I should just go into online and just see if it's easier to fight a player. It's the same thing in fighters. It's easier to fight, obviously. It's easier to fight even the uh, best players in fighters as opposed to fighting the super hard difficulty AI. Super Saiyan? Yeah, Super Saiyan. Okay, he's also going god. I do love how the AI is now transforming. Something that they I don't think they did a lot in Tenkaichi 2 and 3. I know that they did it quite often in the original Tenkaichi, and in Xenoverse they never transformed unless you went into the any files and modified it yourself so they can actually transform and make these battles a little more fun. One of the other things too is I would really like to start beam clashing more often and the AI will get around to doing their beams a lot but trying to get it set up and trying to remember the controls it's it's uh man it's I'm liking the game so far I am but I've been sp I've been spending so much time in the lab trying to figure out how to get combos down but every time I get to actually This is something I could probably just show you. Wow. Go on. Come with me. I'll just pick Adult Gohan since I've known I know him a little more than any of the other characters. And the other thing too is even though they have the super uh, their Super Saiyan ver uh, transformations available as separate characters. Each transformation actually changes their move set. So if you pick the base form of a character and then you transform, their move set is going to change into that transformation. And if they have an additional transformation, again, the move set's going to change slightly. So it is like playing three characters in one, okay. which is kind of cool. But at the same time, that is a lot more time you have to spend in the lab to get used to your favorite characters, especially when you get around to doing the five-man stuff. So I think... Over here. 
See, I, it, from there, if this was Xenoverse, and yeah, I don't know why I'm comparing this game to Xenoverse a lot, but that would be an easy Dragon Dash. But for here, but here I gotta do it myself, but the controls are so... It's not fluid. You see, I, I, I just don't know how to follow it up properly. So that's kind of my thing going on. I, I still want to get around to doing the multiplayer and start having some, some really epic battles. But that's my that's what I'm having struggle uh, struggles. That's what I'm having issues with right now is trying to actually follow up an attack with the dragon dash. Let's get him out of here. So actually, I'm in sparking mode, so I gotta wait for that to go away since the, it becomes an infinite combo chain. So here is a regular uh, regular attack. That's just a regular combo chain for any character. You just press X a bunch, and it'll go into those vanishes. But when you try and actually do this yourself and change the combo string, like I'll do this one. You see, it doesn't. He, I don't know why he doesn't dash forward. See, it. I don't know why it breaks like that. I can't remember if that was honestly the same way it was in Tenkaichi, but this right here kind of. See, I don't know how to follow that up. When I do the, I think they could, they, they call this a lift strike, where you kick him up into the air. After you do that lift strike, you can hit A and then follow it up with another combo. But it doesn't do a uh, doesn't do a. Here. The only way to keep following these up is. Yeah, you got to. Do the uh, I think it's X and Y. So uh, the Y attacks will change your attack strings a little. Let's see, even here, these basic stuff I can't even get used to. I still need like another maybe two days or so to get used to these controls and fully understand how the combos work. Because I wish the I mean again Xenoverse Two the combo strings are so easy. And here. You have to really work for it. Like, I still don't know how to follow those up. Besides going in with another smash. Yeah. See, my instinct is always to keep pressing A to ascend and descend, but in here, it's LB to ascend left trigger if if you're on Xbox to descend so you know here they're breaking it up into three separate controls and then to do the dragon dash i kind of wish there was a way to map your controls because you you, you only have two ver you only have two control types and that's standard and classic classic is if you want to have the more tenkaichi controls is what they call it it's Standard Tenkaichi controls, and then standard is the controls, the uh, control setup for Sparking Zero. I mean, I know that other people have already gotten used to these controls, but I don't know why I can't get used to these controls. For me, it's MR may just be too fast, and I'm not getting used to it. But I can't pull off any combos properly. Here's a basic smash. For that, that's see, this is the only one here that I can actually pull off properly. And then you can go into that. But to pull these off, these are hard. Doing those smash attacks is hard to do when it's so easy to to do the perception. But that's kind of my take on it. I mean, it's a fun game, but until then, I gotta, I still gotta work on practicing a bit more. So that's. That's it for this video. Until next time, we'll see you guys around.